Uh, so veteran, two-time yep. space shuttle veteran, mm -hmm. Hubble uh, Space Telescope repairman, yep. and author of the new book, uh, Spaceman, an Astronaut's Unlikely Journey uh, to Unlock the Secrets of the Universe, which is out today. Is that right? That is, yes, today. Available everywhere, apparently. Where you can get books, <laughs> you can get Spaceman today. So it's an unlikely journey. Yes. What's so unlikely? I added for... the word unlikely. I mean, we, we went over what the title should be with my... Uh, I had a co-writer, uh, Tanner Colby, and, and uh, our editor, uh, Kevin Doughton from Crown, and you know we, we, had, we were having lunch one day and going over titles, and, and we liked the, the uh, Unlock the Secrets of the Universe is uh, something I, <laughs> when, my, when, when, when people would ask me, uh, you know, what does Hubble do? And I'd be like, well, does it? And you get into a complicated answer. So after a while, I just started saying, it unlocks the secrets of the universe, and that's what we're trying to do here. And it became kind of like a standard line or a bit of a, you know, a, bit of a funny thing to say for my, for my crew and I. Um, and, and so now that's now it's in the title, but the, uh, we would say a journey to do that. But I, I, I wanted the word unlikely in there because I never thought of myself, and I don't think much, most other people have uh, who met me uh, wouldn't say I'm like what you would consider to be a likely person to become an astronaut. You know, growing up, uh, I grew up on Long Island. Never, you know, I, I was interested in, in astronauts and I dreamed about being an astronaut as a very little boy because I can remember seeing Neil Armstrong walk on the moon when I was six years old. And, uh, but soon after that, it, it just became, it went into the realm of impossible. And I didn't really think about that until I got to be older. And you know, I'm, uh, still I'm afraid of heights. I don't like heights. Uh, don't particularly like to go very fast. Uh, didn't learn to swim very well when I was a kid. Had to relearn learn how to do that, become a good swimmer to become an astronaut once I got into my training and, and so on. So I don't think, I, I really don't see myself as a stereotypical fighter pilot test pilot person that becomes a becomes an astronaut so and 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 i can't see very well i was medically disqualified uh by nasa on my, my third attempt so it took me a few times it took four tries to get in and and it, it but it, and that, that's all okay you know and, and i think having a passion and and sticking to it and not giving up was really important and uh so that's why I think it was unlikely. It's very. Un I, I wouldn't be betting on me <laughs> when I was when I was applying, but I was lucky enough to to get in there. Space.com.